Ingrid, congratulations. Uh, second win this season, second in a sprint, perfect zero. Could it be any better? Uh, no. <laughs> How was it out there? I mean, uh, as I said, like almost a perfect performance. Uh, also on skis, very strong. Yeah, it was uh, for me. It was a perfect race. Uh, I did everything I could today, and this was really the best I had. And uh, I was a bit surprised that uh, I, I could win here in Rupolding because I think the track is really difficult and uh, more like a kind of a roller ski track. And I'm really bad in roller skis. Uh, and also I get very nervous when I know you have to clean the targets to to be on the top uh, like here so uh, it was uh, very I was very nervous before the start today but when I started and uh, yeah I could hear the spectators cheering and my mom and dad in the track and then I just calmed down and uh, had fun and you're back in red yeah I am nice I, I don't li really like red or yellow, but uh, uh, red and yellow bibs I really like. So <laughs> that's good. Do you also like the mascot? Uh, yes, I'm <laughs> really glad uh, to have a mascot and uh, uh, teddy bears is uh, my favorite. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's uh, hard to be away from home. So at least I have someone in my bed now. So <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> Did you dream of the victory? Um, uh, no, no, I, I, I didn't uh, think that I could win today. But um, uh, like before, I, I like okay, I need to do a okay sprint so I have the have a good start position in the pursuit, and I have never really believed that I can win. But this year, I've started to uh, at least plan to win, if you know what I mean. That I at least think in my head that I can win and that I can do a race that. Uh, makes me win because if you don't even believe it yourself then of course it won't happen so I think it helps that I at least uh, believe that it's possible and uh, today I showed it's possible you did congratulations thank you Mona congratulations second podium in your career the first in a sprint I mean obviously the first question is how does it feel <laughs> I, I can't almost believe it because this uh, like you say it doesn't happen so often but all of a sudden biathlon is so easy uh, but but I really love competing in Rupolding it's something special for me and uh, I really felt that my shape is good and and like knowing that I have the opportunity to do a really good race but been struggling a little bit with the shooting but really been trying to focus this week on just go out and have fun and obviously it really worked uh, but I also was a little bit lucky uh, today I had um, uh, several laps together with Lou Jean Monod and I really thank her for the podium today <laughs> um, so I mean it's it's a bit circumstances but also a really good shape and I'm I'm just so happy that I managed this podium can you tell us uh, the last loop uh, when probably you heard that you were fighting for the podium? <laughs> it was intense and it was so hard. Um, I left uh, the, the range just um, a few seconds ahead of Lampich, which I know is really, really fast. And when she passed me, I really didn't have uh, a chance to follow her, but I could still see her. So I tried to use her like a pacer, just knowing that if I still see her, I know I'm fast. <laughs> but I also got the coaching like, oh, yeah, you, you still got six seconds on Vitozzi. Now you got four and I felt them just slipping away. And especially the middle part was really tough for me. So I, I really had to prepare mentally for the for the last part. I, I didn't uh, rest, <laughs> but I really tried to, to to get up uh, to like say a point like here I really have to push and in the end I got them the margins on my side what was the feeling when uh, Lynn uh, hugged you at the finish I was so relieved <laughs> it was such a hard uh, last loop and um, it's something special of course to celebrate uh, but it's something extra special to celebrate with your teammates and um, I'm I'm really lucky to have such a great team around me. I'm, I mean, 
Lin was the, really the first one uh, to come and hug me and and soon after I see Elvira and Anna and it is really something special to, to celebrate together it's it's a uh, it's truly a double joy congratulations thank you Lisa congratulations back on the podium the first in uh, 2024 here in Ruppolding it's uh, I think a special place yeah for sure for me Ruppolding it's uh, uh, a really nice place and I remember the last year was uh, really, really special. And uh, I started today with uh, no thoughts and uh, just uh, want to do my best and enjoy the race and the, the crowd and uh, also my, my fans here. And uh, yeah, it was, it was good. How special is it to, to have all these people around you and at the same time, you know, having to focus on every shot and all you have to do? Yeah, it's nice to uh, uh, have uh, the fun here, and uh, but not just here, but also on, in uh, Antols or uh, so in some places. And, uh, but you, when you are on, are on the race, you don't think about anything. So... <laughs> Uh, if uh, you think uh, maybe the, the race uh, uh, did not good. <laughs> uh, how special is it for you to be back on the podium? Uh, I'm really uh, happy. Uh, last weekend was uh, not, so, not so good for me. And I want to, uh, to, to back on the podium here. And uh, yeah, I know that uh, it was not easy because uh, uh, a lot of girls are in a good shape and a good shooter, so I try my best and uh, I, I finally did it. <laughs> What's going to be the plan for the pursuit now? Attack. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you.